welcome everyone to the creative communication storytelling i will be telling giving you a lot of tools in this presentation in fact please click on the uh, on the presentation itself on the video itself it will take you up to a different website different landing uh, sites which will help you in designing a wonderful creative communication storytelling methodology we will talk about the evolved media writing and visuals look what have we done actually as i go around it i have become use utilize the cursive handwriting of using technology to tell a story so creative communication storytelling is what we are going forward to so digital storytelling what is it use of text see how how it can be written it is there for your creative capturing the attention of the audiences the way you write it the visuals that you go, go around it look what have i done out here with a frog which is wearing with a crown and i've also created something called a reflection to make a certain that there is water around it so why is it it is not possible music definitely yes video definitely yes voice yes this remember is a short presentation but it is a, one of the most resourceful presentation that will you will encounter from my end of late so digital method shares with a wider audience the storytelling format makes the case it is more convincing sway and audiences all together increase donation create a connection to the audiences thereby that is what we are looking for it storytelling format makes the case makes the case for yourself to go about and that is what we are looking forward so why should an one implement digital storytelling in any courses i, I in fact i i believe say it is irrespective of the course it can be in any presentation it can be any issues we can we can have a digital storytelling a video presentation a small kind of cartoon uh movie all together which are which is original in, in 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 their ideas and conception and definitely is going to become a more emphatic once you start presenting in this way first and foremost let me tell you to the rudimentary goals that it helps us first it enhances the lesson it enhances the receptivity of the lessons by leaps and bound it encourages creative thinking appeals to a diverse learning style assign research to require a particular point of view remember that what we are talking what we are saying will remember people can actually listen or probably they will actually hear it out and go through the motions of listening but probably they will not have any recall value but yes with digital story telling this is this memory recall will have a higher percentage altogether will practice communication skill in ties writing skills thereby students engaging them and meaningfully making a certain voices which helps us to actually release the potential of a technology all together that is why one should implement the digital storytelling of any particular scenario i'll just give you the brief framework what it should be all about it it should follow the criteria that has been mentioned right so you should have a scripting preferably within a 300 words uh, limit a story about creating a sequence all together it can see what are the ingredients that is going to go about it making a conclusion uh, grading a digital sequence recording voice definitely add music editing fine tuning title transition the way you move it saving and sharing the files thereby absolutely that is what digital assessment is all about it yet again i repeat have a template if you have a template or the criteria to follow please maintain that and try not to get go overboard with your scripting process limit it to around 200 or 300 words per space create a digital sequences about the event record the voice and music edit fine tune them give an emphatic attention to the finer prints and that is what you will be doing about before you save and share the file let us proceed with the uh, how to initiate a digital storytelling look at it and the photographs is the initial phase that i have said it to you without it so the person is ready to embark upon it so i might now with this particular photograph i can put him in a race track definitely yes i can also put him in a jungle fighting with the um, uh, with the enemy as such 
I can also put it uh, preparing or himself to be hiding behind a rock. You know, what else can be done with a starting a digital story? We have just a capsules and where we can go bring out with our imagination. So look for the assignment. What do you want to tell? How do you want to text it out? Gather the images to bring your story to your life. And I've just given you a certain number of examples. There are three viabilities that can be done with this particular photograph. Accordingly, get the sound. If you're putting him in a jungle, get the sound of a jungle. If you're putting it in the uh, with the soldiers fighting with an enemy, should bring in the firecrackers, bring in the sounds of uh, bullets and here and there. So gather those things. Use voice, use background soundtrack and spend time to assemble the story. And believe me or not, this will be a one of the emphatic presentations that can come on board by you. So let us have what types of digital stories. First and foremost, things are personal narratives. Now, this is where you create character stories. You are streamlining and basing the story based on one particular central theme or central character. Then there is something called memorial stories, which are of certain um, uh, principles that you want to espouse upon or stress upon in a story, stories about an event or place in our lives, definitely, which might be personal, which might be historical, stories about what we do, all about our professions, about our nitty gritty incident that, that, that keeps on cropping over it. Recovery and discovery stories, love stories is all what we are looking into it. Examination of historical themes and events. Explore and depict a historical theme or event. Require students to research a topic. Use informational and media literacy skills as the case might be. Stories that informs, stories that instruct, curriculum content which delivers information, motivational, inspirational and testimonial in the long run. And that is what we are looking forward to as to what stories can do so. Stories can have themes, can have events, can have information, can have instruction, which are built in the central theme of the story, which is built in the fabric of the story altogether as you want to go around it. We can have an educational fair use. Now, this is what we have been trying to tell it to you. I, and that is the reason why I've been utilizing uh, terminologies like students, terminologies like education, terminologies courses because at the end of the day when I'm trying to give you certain resources it should be within the copyright framework and you should not encounter any legal uh, jurisdictions at all so that is what we are looking into it for educational fair use things are a bit bit uh, lenient all the way so remember four non-exclusive factors should be used when using a, whether whether to use a fair or not these are known as four you four fair use factors let me jot it down for uh, one by one first it should be the effect of marketing or value of the original work that should not be compromised upon or that should not be discredited give credit to it the amount that you are used it should be a part of a story it should not enhance beyond 20% or 25% of the total work altogether. It should be a small minuscule part that you might be enabling around it. Is the nature of the work should be always be educational, should be always be uh, learner for, for uh, centric and so on. So the purpose of the use is what is educational. Include whether the use is commercial or a non-profit educational purpose. Remember, I would always recommend non-profitable educational purpose. You look at this particular video, it has been made with certain resources and resources which have been brought in should not comprise more than 25% of the presentation of somebody else's work. And even if there are and even in even in those 25 percent please try to give credit to that organization to the person from where you are ascribing to it remember your work should be always be of in learning learner centric and it should be always been educational use and not for a commercial purpose at any by any chances so let me give it to you as the, as i've been promising around here if you look into it please see the copyright image one is flicker absolutely fabulous thing that i go around it one of the basic things is also animato i let me come with it creative common search please click on this link and you will come around it we have pics for learning.coms wonderful images right from the very basics 
public domain copy free right open source student use image media this is another site that helps us to go go access to certain images and am i i am i giving you a lot of copyright free things for you people copyright free absolutely this is which will enable you and you cannot say there are any dearth of resources to create a digital storytelling methodology i will talk about the media sources also copy free and public domain media source click on them and you will come to it presentation etc which will include a lot of audios free copyright audios public domains art books images links and there we are it is a copyright friendly image that comes around it yes we are talking about flickers we are talking about creative commons searches pixforlearning.com is what we are looking forward to this is what is the demand i am spending a lot of time in this particular slide for you to check where be it flickr be it creative common search be it pix for learning even as a video you just have to click with your help of your mouse in case if you are not able to do it or an an older version press control and press with the mouse the right uh, click and i'm sure it will take up your different landing page landing page for pixforlearning.com public domain copyright free open source student use image the free public domain media uh, sources the presentation etc which has a wonderful um, repository of copyright or, or uh, copyright free audio audios and that is what we are looking into it i it will give you a lot of images the images can be concocted and you can come up with a lot of things let me give you how to make a video also my favorite remains uh, any motto let me go into the next slide so how do you record a voice file this is something people will always talking about it audacity this is a site again please download audacity it will be for, it is a free copyright free audio file methodology audacity.sourceforge.net slash download you click on this particular site within this particular presentation and you will be getting a tool to record your voice file you can export the file as an mp3 and install them with approximately this and you will have a different character and if you can modulate your voice you can play 3 4 5 6 different characters and even more different characters and come up with your own videos with your own audios it can be an audio story that comes around it the pc sound recorder vocaru.com i love vocaru.com that comes around it record narrations or audio write in the powerpoint that comes around absolutely every now and then remember to add music now how do we add music which is copyright free i will give you the websites that is free mu freeplaymusic.com again click on this thing you will have freeplaymusic.com you will have copyright free music in competech dot com the royalty free absolutely the free site dot com the free sounds the free underscore way or free underscore sound or free underscore way these are the these are the music play websites where you can you can incorporate download your own music files and you can mix in a little bit here and there probably it helps you to go along you don't require an expensive graphic designer to give a digital storytelling you can mesmerize an or your audience with the tools that i have provided with you as far as the images are concerned as far as voice file is concerned as far as music is concerned now people will be talking sir everything has been done what about the videos yes we will talk about the videos and i have been trying to tell you about animoto i love animoto because this is not only complacent with uh, uh, personal computers or window based computers or mac it is there out to we have the apple live movie still image or video clips can be done i photos or still photos and music can be done in windows movie maker in your original windows movie maker the still age images and video clips can be edited can be incorporated microsoft photo story with three uh, photo story 3 the still images can be incorporated and made into a video format a video presentation the powerpoint definitely everybody must be knowing how to utilize a powerpoint to trans 
transform um, uh, still images into a videography altogether that is what we are looking for you but please try it out the animoto part animoto is wonderful tool that comes around you just google a n i m o t o animoto will give you a wonderful skills to manage your own videos create your own uh, videos all together so i've given you a pick image from where you can get it uh, copyright free images i've given you a free audio which from where you can download your copyright free audio for your own vocalities to be recorded and then the music that you want to go around it you can again download copyright free music i've given that tool also i'm also presenting you the tools how to how to make a video if everything works if people are working good with windows movie maker or apple i movie if they are not comfortable please visit animoto animoto is very user friendly that comes across with it so let us understand what makes a good digital storytelling there are seven impacts number one a point of view are dramatic questions and emotional content when well, you know everybody loves an emotional content it should it should tongue with the cord of your emotions and the economy the pacing the gift of your voice and the accompanying soundtrack is what will magnify the impact of your videos altogether it's a point of view it's a dramatic question it's an emotional content the economy the pacing the gift of your voice is what we are looking at it remember to accompany a soundtrack every now and then anything with a soundtrack will always have a sense of fulfillment or completeness in their videos altogether if there are any audio missing the soundtrack will automatically automatically eliminate the sense of being left alone left alone by from the audience end so that is what makes a good digital uh, story altogether let me come to the last slide it is your story it is your uh, photos collect them develop a sample digital story for yourself design and digital assignment for your stories remember i gave you a, a small photograph and where a, a person was on the move on the way to move or something like that and probably you could have done with three different circumstances that i could have put that story pick into all together so develop have your ideas implement them and i'm sure you are going to come out with a flying color with this i come to an end of this particular presentation this might be a one of the shortest presentation but i believe this will be one of the resourceful and most productive presentation for yourself thank you for visiting and watching this particular video